Hey YouTube, it is Dion. It is May 22nd. I am hoping I have everything here that I need to do. I'm going to do and I'm going to try and go as quickly as possible. The star of this video will be the Cover Effects Perfecta Makeup Palette in Medium Deep. And this is what those colors look like. This says highlighter. This says highlighter. This in the middle says finishing. I'm sorry. This in the middle says brightener. Contour, blush, and finishing powder. This one here. But I have nothing on. I did just wash my face. And so I'm going to go through as quick as I can. Sorry for all the noise. And just do my entire face. The Bashia Hydrating Gel. If this video gets too long, I will edit this part out. I'm not liking the shadow that's behind me from the light. So I, I'm still trying to figure out uh, my lighting. The Kate Somerville. Still trying to figure out. the best way to do this light. I've come to the conclusion that I need a larger light. Though I am still glad that I got the 8 inch as an experiment to see if it would make a difference and if I would like it, which I do. The Olavi Generous Serum. Also, for the first time, I'll be using the Cover Effects primer and their finishing spray. The three of these, the powder, the finishing spray, and the primer came in a three-piece kit and a three-piece set. So I'm going to try that today for the first time as well. And I am a fan. This is the Bashia Beauty Oil. I am a fan of the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation. That's the one foundation I can wear year round. I don't know if you guys can see it. My nose is raw. Over the weekend, I had a really, really long allergy attack. Sneezing, runny nose, eyes itching. And I kept blowing my nose. And so this is really chapped. Skin has peeled. From it being so dry and so I've been giving some extra attention with the oils and things in that area just um, Carmex lip balm because my lips are dry the Olay Regenerous Daytime Moisturizer SPF 30 and no I am NOT going anywhere today I am just doing all of this for the purpose of this video And sometimes I don't even think I need to use a primer because I put so much other stuff on my face and I know some people don't so I guess it's just a preference oh my skin is peeling uh, all right cover effects water cloud primer oh goodness I didn't even check to see if it had a cover on there and it did but that came off really easy Oh, and it's bluish. Feels nice. It's going to be a long video. I'm already at four minutes, guys. <laughs> I didn't bring anything to apply my foundation with well to put my foundation on so and I don't like to use the back of my hand because then it just absorbs on the back of my hand but that's what I will do I should have mixed it um, this is G60 I should have mixed it with the beauty oil 
So four by number 78. Pro Domed Foundation Brush. This is thinning right here because my skin is raw around my nose. But I put extra because it is red. Do I need more? Because that was it. And I tried to get it before it absorbed. Can't even tell what it where it was. <laughs> this is really a good color for me. Not that my face is the same shade as my hand. I think that's all the foundation I'm gonna do. I just looking really dry around my nose. Yeah, that's all the foundation. Even though it's still red here, I'm not going to put any more foundation. This is the um, Sephora Brightening Future Gel Serum Concealer, and this number is 13. It is cream caramel. Do I have an eyelash right here? Ah. That is that. Powder, the cover effects, translucent light. I like that it has a cover here, it has a sifter, and then you lift it to get the powder out that you want, and then put the cap back, which is really nice. I do find that it prevents a lot of waste. So I just tap some into wow into the lid, close that back up. This is Sephora number fifty Pro Flawless Light Powder Brush. Gonna get some more powder on there. I really, really like this powder. I guess I should be talking about something, huh? It's kind of boring with no music and me just doing things and not speaking. I'm going to do a polyamory video soon. Uh, me talking about more of that. Oh, now for brows. Tomorrow is Thursday, so I will be posting another Throwback Thursday video. I think I'm going to upload over the next one, two, three Thursdays a series I did years ago on applying basic makeup um how to apply foundation powder blush um this is the tartise emphasized brow mousse this is rich brown and it comes with the two-sided tool to apply it with and of course i would do a crooked because i'm on camera well not crooked but too rounded the series of videos I did for beginners 
when I watch them, <laughs> I laugh because some things I still do and some things I don't. And so to see the things that I don't do anymore, it's kind of like, wow, okay. That looks a little crazy. So we're going to go with it. I don't go for the stencil look brows. I go for a natural look. And I do get compliments. Even when I don't do my brows, I get compliments on my brows. And what I'm told is, I like that your brows look natural. You don't do all that crazy stuff. I'm crazy in other ways. And no, they are not even, even one's way down here and one's way down <laughs> But anyway. I showed my partner my videos because he was curious to see what videos I used to do. And those were the three I found that didn't have a lot of music behind them or, and that were not eyeshadow tutorials. Because um, he was just curious about my life prior to him and my life on YouTube. And so we watched them. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. But some stuff is still good information. So this is my basic face. Alright, so we're going to get into, whew, we're at 11 minutes. And I have multiple brushes to use. I have, um, I think this came in, these two came in BoxyCharm, I believe. From Moda, Moda brushes. So I brought these to use with this kit, this face thing. And this is a Sephora number that I can't see because it's so small. Blush brush and a Jabinesse fan brush. And so these I'm hoping will all work well with this palette. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take this highlighter over here with this Model brush, which is kind of scratchy. I don't really like this brush. And I don't know if I'm even, is this even picking up product? I don't even think, and it's shedding. No, it's not. Some of the bristles are just longer than others. I don't think this is picking up any product. Oh, I am sweating. And right, let me try a different brush. Oh, good grief. I'm going to try the tip of this brush because it's more dense than that model brush that I was just using. Still trying to apply this highlighter. I think I'm seeing it. Or maybe this light is just blinding me. I don't care. So that was this highlighter here. Going to use a blush brush and use both of these <laughs> blushes. This is a blush. This is the only blush in here, and I am going to use this fluffy brush because I've used this before in this color. <clears throat> oh, now I see the highlight. These colors are really intense. <laughs> it's on me. I probably could have used the medium palette. This is the medium D if there, well, if there is just a medium because that's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys how intense these are and what they look like on some of my complexion. Oh, I'm not sweating around my nose. Did I put powder around my nose? That's like, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I am going to... <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna take this contour powder. You see how dark this is. You see how dark this blush was. So can you imagine like what this contour? So I'm gonna use the, the powder brush, and I'm just gonna lightly dip on both sides. And whew. can you guys see that? Like this? Oh my gosh. And I normally don't contour because I find when I use blush. This is making a blush look like it's coming down farther. And I probably will not. I 
I probably will not use this contour color. That is just, ooh, yeah, very, very dark. I'm going, I need another fluffy brush. This is a finishing powder. I don't know who, and I'm using this Model brush again. I don't know who this finish is for. And it is like a sparkly color. It's so, I don't want like sparkles all over my face. I'm only doing this for the video. I don't even know if, yeah, I'm seeing like glitter all over my face. So I'm not even sure. Like who finishes their face with like a shimmer product? I don't know. But for giggles, oh, this is like all over my shirt. For giggles, I'm dusting this off. I'm going to take this brightener <laughs> right here <laughs> with that same brush because this brush hardly picks up anything and put that under my eyes since this is supposed to be a brightener. Now that I think I want it brighter under here because sometimes brightening things under my eyes actually accentuate my under eye discoloration. So I usually avoid highlighting under here or brightening under here. I am not liking how this looks in this mirror down here because I see this shimmer all over my face and so <laughs> so for giggles we're going to take this highlighter with a fan brush and put it over top of that first highlighter over top of this one This one actually I think shows up more than the first one, but I don't like the blind I don't like blinding highlights. My nose is sweating. I don't like the blinding highlighters. I was at the fora and this girl says, Oh, I, I want to blind people when I turn my head. I'm like, I'm 49. I'm not trying to blind anybody. I do like this one. But for the rest of my face, did I use everything in here? I used everything in here. Yeah, I did use everything in here. So this is this palette. On my face. Because that contour <laughs> was so dark, I'm going to go back in with some Cover FX powder. I'm going to brush off, I'm like way up here, I'm going to brush off this brush. There's a lot of product in this brush. And just put some more powder on my face. Just to kind of tone, tone all this down. I like how that highlight is still. So I feel like it did help some to tone it down, adding extra powder. And that's what I do sometimes anyway. But the contour, that contour color kind of just blends in with that blush. First time ever. I'm going to use the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray 24 Hour Wear. We will see. I'm not going to do a wear test, but it does spray in a fine mist, but it, it feels like a, di a direct mist. Like I could feel each place it hit versus it just dispersing evenly all over. Oh, hey, Brie. Just got your text. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> yep, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I know you're going to laugh when you see this since you are now officially in my video. This is a Shishido gloss. And I purchased one at the store and I liked it so much I went and purchased another one online. I will put the number below. It's either 305 or 308. I need to put a sticky on it so I can see it easier. Just taking some of that balm off my lips. This is what that color looks like. Very pretty. And I really like the applicator too. The shape of it. This dries down almost into a stain, which I really 
like I was surprised but it was a very pleasant surprise this is it for this video what do you think about that medium deep cover effects face perfector fat palette I was gonna say face perfector palette I think I did say that face perfector <laughs> perfector face palette I have just all sorts of wrong so let me know if you guys have the medium deep, if you have the light one, if there is just a medium one, what do you think? How did it turn out? Like, I am not going anywhere today, which I'm glad because this is looking a little cray-cray with that bronzer. No, not the bronzer, the contour. But this would be my regular face minus the contour and a lighter hand with the blush. Um, and also, let you just let me know what you guys think of this palette in general. The two highlighters, the brightener. Does anybody use the brightener? This finishing powder, does anybody really use a finishing powder that has shimmer? That's what I want to know. So thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to be eligible. I didn't even use this brush for future giveaways. And that is it. And so all of you have a good day. If you have allergies, take care of yourself. And even if you don't, enjoy the weather. And you will see me in the next video. Well, you'll see my throwback Thursday tomorrow. Thanks guys. Bye.